Hello, this is Spellbinder with this breaking news. Michigan oil spill, among the largest in the Midwest history. Kalamazoo spill soaks wildlife with video. This has happened uh, yesterday at 9.45 a.m. on the 27th. It's being reported by the Huffington Post today on the July 28, 2010. It says, as the Gulf Coast deals with the worst environmental disaster in U.S. history, the Midwest is now facing an oil spill of its own. A state of emergency has been declared in the southwest Michigan Kalamazoo County as more than 800,000 gallons of oil released into a creek began making its way downstream in the Kalamazoo River, the Kalamazoo Gazette reports. The trouble began Monday at 9.45 a.m., when an oil pipeline owned by Enbridge Liquid Pipeline sprung a leak in the Marshall Township. Enbridge Energy is a subsidiary of the Calgary, Canada-based Enbridge Incorporate. The Detroit Free Press reports, according to the company, it is the largest transporter of oil from the western Canada. The cause of the leak is under investigation and the pipeline has been shut down, but not before it did some serious damage. U.S. Representative Mark Schuer called the spill the largest oil spill in the history of the Midwest. Officials are suggesting all water activities in the Kalamazoo River be put on hold until the situation is resolved and some have are fearing the contamination of their local water supplies. Besides the noxious fumes coming from the river, health officials already are worried that the oil spill could have lasting health effects. While he said that the side of the spill was a wetland which has a natural clay barrier that prevents water from seeping too far into the ground, Calhoun County health official Jim Rutherford said he that there was concern that the magnitude of the oil could spill, spell trouble for the area's water supply. It's not going to show up right away, he says. But this is pretty bad. We're having a bad disaster to the south and now to the north of America. Well, actually in Michigan. On uh, this, I'm going to play this video. It usually doesn't work too good when I have it with this article seer that you're looking at here. Uh, and I'm going to play this and I'm going to get off here and post this. But here's the uh, news report. Kalamazoo River. That oil came from a pipeline by Enbridge Energy, the pipeline Marshall, into a creek and then into the Kalamazoo River. That pipeline is one of the longest in the world. It's called the Lakehead System. The line starts in Canada and runs through Michigan. Right now, that oil is making its way downstream and having a big impact on people and animals. News Channel 3's Tim Raganese is live in Calhoun County where the spill is already taking a toll on wildlife. Tim. Yeah, Josh, this is just one backyard along miles and miles of the Kalamazoo River. Behind me, you can see some of the birds already soaked and covered in this oil from the spill. What the people living out here have discovered, though, is that finding help for this wildlife is not easy or quick. When I got up this morning, I saw them right away. Not just a few birds, as Lee Haraf thought at first, but more than a dozen in her backyard and on the banks of the Kalamazoo River. Geese, swans, and other animals covered in oil from the Enbridge spill into the Talmadge Creek in Marshall. The company estimates 840,000 gallons leaked from a pipe. And now people at Lee Haraf are trying to deal with the aftermath. But what she discovered is that few vets in West Michigan have the expertise or training to help these birds remove the oil and keep them alive. Oh, well, they're completely covered in oil. I was trying to find out someone that would come and help them because I knew I couldn't do anything or get close. And the people living out here thought they had in the Athens area to take these birds and help clean them. But that vet was told that the benzene in the oil is also toxic to human skin. So those people were told not to help, not to help at least for right now. Reporting live near Marshall, Tim Ragonese, News Channel 3. All right, thanks, Tim. The oil in the river is quickly making its way west towards Lake Michigan. Right now, we have reports that the oil has moved through the city of Battle Creek and into Kalamazoo County. Now, the Kalamazoo River makes its way through the city of Allegan and Allegan County. It eventually goes into Saugatuck and Lake Michigan. Crews estimate that about 40,000 gallons or about 19,000 barrels made its leak from the pipeline. Now, if to give you an idea of just how much oil that is, it's enough to fill 150. 55 average backyard swimming pools. Last night, an Enbridge Energy spokesperson told us they'll eventually figure out how and why the pipeline broke, but right now, the company is focused on catching all of that oil.
Our focus right now is containment and resolution of the situation. Uh, we will find out what happened, uh, and then we'll just to make sure that it doesn't happen again. But right now, it, our focus is on the situation, and you know, we will figure out what happened, but that comes later. Our team coverage continues this noon. Carolyn Wiley tells us how crews are trying to stop that oil before it gets any further. We are at a large collection area along Jackson Road near Helmer and Battle Creek. These large tankers are being used to collect some of the oil that's gathered from the booms. However, they certainly are not catching everything. Oh, I had no idea like it would get this far. When Dana Allen went outside this morning, she smelled the oil. She lives and works near the river in eastern Kalamazoo County. The furthest location downstream, we could spot the film on the water. This is really, really sad. This is, this is nasty. <laughs> The series of booms in Battle Creek and the Mar area are set up to contain as much oil as possible. Here's how it looks further up 20th Street. And through downtown Battle Creek, the oil covers the top of the water. The smell alone enough to draw downtown workers to the river's edge to tell much oil is now flowing through town. Jeff Oaken lives even further upstream, even closer to where the spill started. We could smell something out like fuel oil, but as soon as I opened my door, it physically made me sick. Crews from environmental cleanup companies from around the state are working round the clock trying to keep more oil from going any further than it already has. Along the Kalamazoo River, Carolyn Wiley, News Channel 3. And if the oil is on your property, dispatchers ask that you do not call 911 unless it is an emergency. Enbridge Energy has set up a hotline for you to call. That number is 1-800-306-6837. You can call that number if you spot injured wildlife or if you have any other questions or concerns. And you've sent us so many pictures showing just how devastating this spill has been to the animals and the environment here in West Michigan. Just like this picture here sent in by John Daubertine this morning. It's an animal so covered in oil, it's hard to tell exactly what this animal is. It could be a possum, but it really is just hard to tell. That's how much oil is on this animal and a lot of animals out there. We've also got some pictures of the river. John sent us this one as well. Shows the black color of the water as it rushes over a dam. Another picture sent in by a viewer shows a shiny rainbow sheen on top of the water right there. If you see the oil out there, we would love to see what you're seeing. Take a picture. Send it to us. WWMT.com. You can also see more photos on our website or our Facebook page. Leave your thoughts about the oil spill. We want to hear your story. And check back with News Channel 3 later. We'll have more of your pictures and your comments starting with News Channel 3 live at 5. There you got it. Benzene and the oil. Do not touch. And it's black. Kind of strange. We saw red down there on the golf. Still makes me wonder what that is. Except I believe it's iron oxide. And anything yellow in it is probably sulfur down in the Gulf, that is. But this is definitely black, just like it was in Valdez. Black oil. Rushed out of that pipeline and went down the stream. Well, I'm going to get this posted. You've seen it here. Oil spill among the largest in the Midwest history. This is blur breaking news from Spellbinder. Be good, be good at it, and have a wonderful day if you're not in Kalamazoo area. Good day.